Welcome people to my new video. I'm going to analyze for you guys a new roulette strategy algorithm system from Jules Coupier Roulette. I have another dozen strategy you can test if you want. So you put one chip on second dozen and leave it there. Then you add one chip to first dozen. On loss or a win, you move the chip to third dozen. Triple martingale on losses back to base bet on wins. So you keep swapping over from first to third dozen. So let's call this strategy first, third swapping. Uh, the results of the, the official results of my back test for first, third swapping. 148,000 spins you can spin, you can participate every spin. You do not have to sit out spins. Here, and you do not have to wait. Then the balance, the trend line, the black line is the balance, your bankroll, and the black line goes down. The longer you will play, the more you will lose. The dotted line is the trend line, and also the trend line goes down with a negative slope. And the trend line predicts a loss of 234,493 euro in 148,000 spins, and this is for a single zero roulette wheel. This is the information of the black line, revenue, cost, result, revenue minus cost is a net result, a net absolute loss of 252,120 euro, again in 148,000 spins. I had 96,030 individual winning sessions. And I lost 501 times my stop loss. So to one losing session, there were 191.68 winning sessions. That's a winning probability of 99.48%. Losing probability of 0.52%. So if you change this reference stop loss here, you change the winning probability. And I want 99 or the closest to 99% winning probability. Like this, we can compare all the strategies Kitteris Paribus. In this case, the reference stop loss was 801 euro, and maximum stop loss, or the highest stop loss I've seen, or with other words, your stop loss, eh, was 2,420 euro. Initial starting bet, 20 euro, and not 2 euro. So if you want 99.48% winning probability at uh, long term with this strategy, this is your stop loss, 2,420 euro. On average, I won 10 euro. On average, we lost 2,420 euro. Normalized revenue, normalized cost, normalized net result, negative 0.262543. This is another way to express loss. So this is your revenue, this is the casino's revenue, and their revenue exceeds your revenue by 26.25%. On average, in an online casino, it will take between six and seven dealer sessions to lose your stop loss and with this average value. On average, it will take a little more in between one and two spins to get an individual winning session with this average value. And that's also what you see here and the distribution of the durations of the losing sessions, how many spins it took to get an individual losing session to lose your stop loss. This black horizontal line is the average, 295.409 spins, maximum spins, 1829. And the same, but for the winning sessions and the distribution of the durations of the winning sessions, how many spins it took to get an individual winning session. Again, this black horizontal line is the average. And remember, 1.541 spins. Maximum spins, 13. I had 96,030 individual winning sessions or revenues. And here you see the revenues, see here, 96,030 individual winning sessions, 10 euro profit. Here, zero sessions, 20 euro profit, zero sessions, 30 euro profit, uh, 
and so on. On average, we won 10 euro. I lost 501 times my stop loss or costs. Here you see the costs. 501 individual winning sessions with 2420 euro loss. Here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and for all the other stop losses, values. See here, eh? on average, we lost 2420 euro. Here. Okay, but this is for 99.48% winning probability. Right? And that's what you see here. You see, with 2420 euro stop loss, you will have 99.48% winning probability. Here, with 800 euro stop loss, you will have 98.50% winning probability. And here, with 260 euro stop loss, you will have 95.69% winning probability. It looks like an exponential function, but this is the exponential function. So at some point, the stop loss will change at a faster rate than the exponential rate. That's by the way, the reason why it's so hard to beat roulette or actually impossible to beat roulette. And the higher the stop loss, the higher the winning probability. But as you can see, you need to increase the stop loss, your stop loss at a faster rate than exponential rate. You never reach 100%. If you could reach 100%, but then you will hit the, the table limit. And here again, you see the drawdowns and the stop losses, the stop loss zone, reference stop loss, maximum stop loss, or your stop loss, and the bet levels. And so 20 euro initial starting bet, a base bet, and the highest bet I needed to place was 1,620 euro. See, and that's what you see here at the bet levels. We had to place bet amount 20 euro in 65.22% of the cases. Bet amount 60 in 22.92% of the cases. Uh, bet amount 180 in 8.06% of the cases. Here at 2.81% of the cases. 2,620 euro in 0.98% of the cases. Here uh, the same but cumulative, 100%. Anyway, guys, I'm now going to rank this new strategy for you guys. I will put this new strategy in my ranking list. So we need this ranking information. Number of winning sessions, number of losing sessions, average win, average loss, normalized net result, LSP average, WSP average, stop loss to initial bet level ratio. And so the, the stop loss was 121 times higher than the initial bet. Stop loss zone, stop loss exceeds the reference stop loss by 202.12%. And then the maximum bet level to initial bet level ratio. So the highest bet I needed to place was 81 times higher than the initial bet. Last per spin, this here. So let's copy this. Okay guys, so first, third, swapping from Ju Croupier Roulette. And here you can see all the individual rankings for first, third, swapping, 6, 76, 96, 26, 23, 84, 16, 96, 54, 33, 3. Number of winning sessions, that's very good. Number of losing sessions, that's bad. Average win, that's also bad. Average loss, that's good. Normalized net result, also good. LSP average, bad. WSP average, that's very good. Stop loss to initial bet level ratio, also very good. Stop loss zone, that's bad. Maximum bet level to initial bet level ratio, that's good. Loss per spin, that's also good. 
the winning probability and this is a special case but this is very good eh, here number three one two three four five six seven eight good rankings one two three four bad rankings so far i've analyzed 111 roulette systems where is first third swapping from Ju Croupier Roulette. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys. Here, number nine. We have a new top 10. And the top 10 best strategies are breaking patterns on dozens from Ju Croupier Roulette, number one. System nine with seven bets, number two. Two red, two black martingale, number three. Twist the dozen, four. Only way to play, 5, use triggers, 6, UFC fighters, 7, 24 no tripling, 8, what, first, third, swapping from Chukupi roulette, number 9, and 5 loss trigger, number 10. You see, and as you can see, eh, your breaking patterns on dozens still performs better than first, third, swapping. More winning sessions, less losing sessions this is the same the same uh, normalized net result is better yeah lsp average is better here this is the same the same the same loss per spin is better the winning probability is also a little better apart from this wsp average that is higher than this but that's just because you're sitting out spins and it will, yeah, on average it will take longer to win. Yeah, but sitting out spins only will not improve a roulette strategy. It's when you have a very effective, intelligent way to sit out spins. Uh, and that was the case for uh, your breaking patterns on dozens strategy. This strategy does not beat roulette and long term you will lose your money. But it's a very good strategy, you know, very good strategy, very healthy ratios. Anyway, thank you Juku Pie Roulette for sharing this yeah, interesting strategy.